tonight. A new round of income tax cuts are now law in Arkansas. That's right. And 4029's Brett Rains was the only reporter from our area in Little Rock as Governor Sarah Sanders signed two bills into law. He has the latest and why she says more tax cuts could be coming. Governor Sanders says this is just the first round of tax cuts. She says it will help Arkansas better compete with other nearby states. But some legislators have concerns that more tax cuts could leave the state short on money. Arkansans are caught in the middle between sky high inflation and sky high taxes. Our state desperately needs relief. Senate Bill 549 is now law. It reduces state income tax rates from 4.9% to 4.7%. Tax experts say the difference amounts to an extra $2 in your pocket for every $1,000 you earn on your paycheck. The bill also cuts the state's corporate income tax rate by 0.2%, dropping it from 5.3% to 5.1%. This covers 1.1 million Arkansans, the majority of taxpayers in our state. There's lots of questions about who this impacts. Well, it impacts every taxpayer that makes above $23,400 in this state. They will receive immediate impact because we were able to make it retroactive to the first of this year. Governor Sanders also signed House Bill 1045 into law. It works to eliminate what's called throwback taxes on businesses during the next seven years. Currently, manufacturers based here have to pay a tax when selling things outside of Arkansas, hurting their ability to compete in the free market. We'll get rid of this tax and boost businesses, jobs, and investment in our state. While the bills were being debated at the Capitol, some legislators were concerned that hundreds of millions of dollars in new spending with the Arkansas Learns Act education reform law and criminal justice reform that tax cuts could leave the state short on funds to pay for everything. I'm really confident in our path forward. We've made sure uh, that we can fully fund both Arkansas Learns as well as the criminal justice reform package. We have already made significant changes. The budget that was proposed by the previous administration, we made cuts to that. Governor Sanders and State Senator Jonathan Dismang say cutting taxes will help Arkansas compete with other nearby states. We have zero income tax states like Tennessee and Texas on either side of us and Mississippi and Missouri have just passed historic tax cuts. What will hurt families in Arkansas if we're not competitive? Governor Sanders says her administration is now working on completely phasing out state income taxes. She's expected to sign the criminal justice reform bill into law on Tuesday. In Little Rock, Brett Rains, 4029 News.